In the year 2242, the Earth is nearing extinction as the world suffers from a plague. The government made bold promises to people that they will cure the planet, but instead they only planned their escape towards a new planet called the New Earth. As society reaches its breaking point, the last shuttle called the ISS 599 Hercules, also known as the Herc, is set to depart for New Earth. 300,000 people are chosen to board the last shuttle, and the remainder of the population struggles to stow away. Outside the boarding area, people try to destroy the barricade in order to get on the shuttle. Noah is one of the stowaways. He forges documents, impersonating a junior janitor so he can get inside the Herc, while Haley, his pregnant girlfriend, boards the shuttle after being selected as a passenger. As the Herc travels to space, all the passengers are directed to their own cryo chambers. They are put into stasis, wherein they will be hibernating for the next six months on their way to the new Earth. Inside the Herc, Noah meets and introduces himself to Admiral Kierman Adams, who is also Haley's father. But the man does not like him. Later, he accompanies Haley on her way to her cryo chamber. The couple talks about their future hopes and plans of building their family in the new Earth before Haley goes to stasis. The Admiral, along with the rest of his security team, follows after, heading to their respective cryo chambers. Meanwhile, a mysterious figure sneaks on one of the shuttle's tablet devices and activates a command. On the other side, Noah, who has impersonated a janitor, will remain awake along with the remaining working crew to maintain the order inside the Herc. They prepare for the quantum jump as the shuttle's hyperspeed commences, giving it a boost towards outer space. Confused after the jump, Noah asks Clay Young, an older janitor, about the hyperspeed. Clay answers that while the quantum jump feels just like a second to them, it is 30 years on Earth. He suspects that everyone on the planet is already dead now. Later, the working crew members gather for breakfast in the shuttle's cafeteria, talking about their expedition towards New Earth. Commander Stanley, a security officer, makes fun of Clay as he shares to everyone how Clay was demoted to being a janitor by the Admiral for refusing to obey orders. While eating, the other security officers arrive with the stowaway they caught. Commander Stanley then immediately orders the stowaway to be taken away and killed. Right after, he briefs the rest of the workers in the cafeteria. According to them, their expedition will take 182 days before their shuttle hits the new Earth, and during that time, all the 300,000 passengers, including the Admiral and his security team, are all in their cryo chambers. Until then, Stanley will be leading their expedition. The entire working crew consists of six medics, six engineers, five security officers, and five janitors. When they move to their quarters, Noah reunites with Clay as they become roommates who will work on the same shift. Noah tries to befriend Clay, but the older janitor dismisses his jester. Later, Noah goes to Haley's cryo chamber and talks to her while she is in deep sleep. He also shares about his dream that their future child is a girl. At that moment, a hologram of Clay suddenly pops out in front of Noah, telling him that their shift is about to start. During their shift, Noah observes Clay, who has only been drinking alcohol beside him instead of working the entire time, but he does nothing about it. The working crew goes on with their respective jobs until the Herc reaches its halfway point with 86 days left before their arrival to New Earth. While walking in the hallway, Commander Stanley notices that someone has been trying to access the nuclear reactor, which produces electric power and propulsion for the shuttle. He shouts, saying that only Admiral Adams has access to the nuclear reactor. Stanley walks toward the direction of the reactor, but finds no one around. After his odd encounter in the hallway, Stanley heads to the bathroom and sees Noah scrubbing the floor. Stanley tells Noah to report him immediately if he ever sees anyone acting strange inside the Herc. Clay arrives in the bathroom as soon as Stanley leaves. He watches as Noah struggles to clean the bathroom floor, telling him to use a stronger cleaning agent. Clay reprimands Noah for being clueless with cleaning before instructing him to use a chemical called Moxicel. 
He also warns Noah to be careful while using Moxicel because the chemical is so strong it can melt him. On the other side of the Herc, crew members spend their time talking about their own conspiracy theories about space and aliens. Later, Shady, one of the crew members, comes back to his quarters while drinking a bottle of beer. At the same time, a soft hissing sound lingers from outside his quarters. After placing the beer on the floor, Shady accidentally hits the bottle, causing some of it to be spilled. Just then, a worm-like parasite creature sneaks inside the beer bottle. Unaware of its presence, Shady ends up taking the bottle and consuming the rest of the beer inside, including the parasitic creature. Shady feels it on his throat, but ignores it. After his stomach gurgles strangely during his shift with Blue. While groaning, Shady instructs Blue to call Chambers, one of the medical crew, to treat the burning sensation in his body. After Blue gives Shady some water to drink, the burning sensation seemingly disappears. Yet, all of a sudden, Shady's body explodes in front of Blue, leaving him frozen in his spot. Just before Blue can react, the parasitic creature moves to enter Blue's body. Noah hears his yell from the bathroom, but ignores it as he finishes cleaning the floor with Moxicel. When Noah looks for Clay to ask permission to end his shift, he finds him inside a storage room, pouring Moxicel in a large container. At this time, Clay discovers Noah sneaking up on him, and Noah runs away before Clay could confront him. He bumps into another crew member named Teak, who immediately corners him. Noah tells Teak that Clay has stolen Moxicel and is making a bomb. However, Teak reveals himself as an accomplice as he and Clay take Noah forcefully back in the storage room. Inside, Clay and Teak are joined by two medics, Dr. Susan Chambers and Dr. Isabella Ortega, while Noah's hand is tied to a metal tube. Noah eyes the four of them suspiciously, assuming that they are all part of the rebellion who wants to blow up the shuttle and avenge the people who were left on Earth. But Teak and Ortega just hold him down as Chambers makes him drink a cup of moonshine. Noah stares at them in confusion as the four laughs at him. He then realizes that the crew members were pulling a prank on him as Clay was not making a bomb and was instead making an alcoholic beverage. Chambers tells Noah to keep the alcoholic beverage a secret from Commander Stanley, to which Noah agrees. Afterwards, the crew members organize a small party to celebrate Ortega's birthday, drinking the moonshine. As the party dies down, Lincoln joins Clay, Noah, Teak, Chambers, and Ortega. They briefly talk about their loved ones who are waiting for them on the new Earth, as well as their family who remained on Earth. When Clay asks Noah what his new job is when they reach the new Earth, Noah lies and tells everyone that he will be a butcher. Ortega leaves the crew, looking for Blue to spend the day with him and hook up. Consumed by the alcohol, she wanders around the hallways. She casually approaches Blue, who she finds welding alone in front of the nuclear reactor room. However, Blue turns to Ortega blankly and bumps her head on the wall, killing her in an instant. Meanwhile, Noah checks his New Earth assignment and discovers that his new occupation is a garbage man. Clay appears behind Noah and becomes suspicious of him. He confronts Noah after observing Noah's cluelessness on being a janitor and his entire mission. Noah has no other choice but to explain that he was not selected as a citizen for the New Earth admitting that he is a stowaway. He tells Clay that he sneaked into the Herc to build a family in New Earth with his pregnant girlfriend, Haley. Noah pleads to Clay to keep his confession a secret when Commander Stanley calls Clay to report to him. Later, the rest of the crew are summoned to a room where they find the remains of Shady. Blue, who is the last person with Shady, is then suspected to be the killer. But Clay argues that Blue will not kill anybody. Commander Stanley calls the attention of all crew members to locate Blue and Ortega, who have both gone missing. Clay finds Ortega's lifeless body in front of the nuclear reactor, while Noah discovers Blue welding the door of the Admiral's room. Noah approaches Blue together with Commander Stanley, Teak, Chambers, and Clay. They call Blue, but he does not answer them. When Blue turns around, they find him completely disoriented and his mouth covered with blackened blood. Commander Stanley threatens Blue to shoot him with their cannon, but he does not listen. 
As a response, Blue jumps at one of the security officers named Zoo and aggressively attacks him. Commanders Stanley and Teak are urged to shoot Stanley as Chambers checks on Zoo. However, Chambers announces to everyone that Zoo is dead along with Blue. Inside the medical laboratory, the crew stares at the dead bodies of Ortega, Zoo, and Blue. Chambers decides to perform an autopsy on Blue's body to be able to find out what happened. She makes an incision in Blue's upper body but finds that there are no longer any organs in his body but only black blood. Inside the control room, Stanley locks the employees inside their quarters. He recovers the CCTV footage of Blue and Shady and watches it with Teak. The next day, the remaining crew members reunite in the medical laboratory. Chambers suspects that Blue was able to move without any organs inside him because he was being controlled from the inside. He might pick up a particular virus or parasite which invades the body of the human host wearing it like a suit. Trying to find how the parasite got into the Herc, Chambers performs a headcount of the people inside the ship. She discovers Noah's real identification as a stowaway who has been forging papers. Noah tries to run away after his information has been revealed, but Stanley immediately aims his gun at him. When Stanley interrogates Noah about his intentions, Clay interrupts him and defends Noah. Stanley hits Noah with his gun, but is eventually convinced that Noah did not let the parasitic creature inside the herd. The CCTV footage of Blue and Shady are shown to the crew members where they determine that the parasitic creature is an alien. Clay suggests that their current situation requires the Admiral to be awakened from his cryo chamber. Just then, Teak notices that the three dead bodies are missing. As it turns out, Blue, Ortega, and Zoo have all been reanimated and are about to attack everyone in the laboratory. Commander Stanley shoots them with the gun, but the bullets leave no damage to them. Zoo punches right through Stanley's abdomen, and the parasitic creature eventually gets inside Stanley's body. On the corner, Ortega rushes to Noah and is about to eat him alive. Fortunately, Chambers spots them, shooting Ortega to push her away from Noah. They leave the medical laboratory as Clay leads the surviving crew members to the arsenal, but the four of them are not able to determine the weakness of the alien parasite inside their infected crewmates. They cannot be defeated using brute force and bullets only slow them down. In response, Clay decides to use fire, preparing a flamethrower. Meanwhile, Commander Stanley, who has been infected by the creature, has also been reanimated. Acting out of the alien parasite's control, he unlocks the cabin quarters, allowing Ortega, Blue, and Zoo to infect the other working crew members. From inside the arsenal, Clay, Noah, Teak, and Chambers listen to the distant screams of their other crewmates as they get attacked. They aim their weapons towards the door, fully anticipating the arrival of their infected colleagues. As soon as the infected crew members reach the door, Teak, Chambers, and Noah shoot them with their guns while Clay uses the flamethrower to burn them. Despite that, the flamethrower does not injure the infected members. The impact causes the fire alarm to break out in the room, allowing the surviving crew members to escape and move to the security bay. Smoke from the fire alarm covers their surroundings as they slowly walk around the hallways. They come across Lincoln, who has fortunately survived the previous attacks. Just then, Teak is suddenly captured by one of the infected crew members and disappears through the smoke. Clay boldly walks through the smoke to save Teak while Noah, Lincoln, and Chambers cover for him using their guns. Shortly after, he successfully rescues Teak and they quickly discuss trying to decide where to go next. While Teak urges them to continue heading towards the security, Lincoln suggests fleeing using their escape pods. The crew members then split up as Noah, Chambers, Clay, and Teak flee to the security bay while Lincoln walks alone to the escape pods. To Lincoln's surprise, an infected crew member has been inside the escape pod all along, killing Lincoln in an instant. Back in the Herc, the remaining four crew members lock themselves inside the security bay. There are still 84 days before arriving at New Earth, and the surviving crew have nowhere left to go as their infected colleagues swarm outside the door. Clay, Chambers, and Teak start to lose hope accepting the thought that they will soon be killed. Noah, on the other hand, is determined to survive for his future family. 
he volunteers to go to the Admiral's cryo chamber in hopes that the Admiral can rescue them. Noah uses the vent inside the security bay and he travels through the air ducts with Clay's guidance. At that moment, Zoo and Ortega hear Noah's movements from the ceiling and the two follow through the air ducts. Back inside, Teak suddenly apologizes as he confesses that he was the one responsible for putting the alien parasite inside the Herc. He was the previous masked figure who set the command to let the alien parasite enter the shuttle. In dismay, Clay drags Teak to the wall, but he stops himself from further hurting Teak and decides to focus on helping Noah. At the same time, Zoo and Ortega discover Noah in the air ducts. They attack Noah and try to catch him, but he successfully escapes. Afterwards, Noah reaches the other end of the vent where he lands inside Admiral Adams' room. Noah awakens the Admiral, who immediately becomes disappointed upon seeing him. Then, Clay and Chambers report to Admiral Adams about the current status of the Herc. According to Chambers, the alien parasite has become smarter targeting the reactor of the Herc. They also interrogate Teak, asking for information about the alien parasite. Teak answers that he does not know what it is, but he knows that it can kill. Later, Admiral Adams gets up and devises a plan to rescue the surviving crew members as well as the 300,000 passengers. He and Noah awaken the rest of his security team to fight back at their infected colleagues and flush them on the Herc's air vacuum. The Admiral's security team attempts to use more advanced guns to fend them off. During their preparation, Admiral Adams eventually learns that Noah is the father of Haley's unborn child. The Admiral aims his gun at Noah in dismay, but Clay stops him from doing anything further. Soon, they all move out of their cryo chambers and advance towards the hallways of the Herc. Through Noah's lead, they find a group of their infected crew members led by Commander Stanley. Seeing them infected for the first time, Admiral Adams tries to talk to Stanley, but he only growls at them. A battle ensues between the two groups as the security officers shoot lasers at the infected members, causing some of their body parts to be cut off. However, the infected crew members grow even more aggressive, overwhelming the security team. As Noah gets attacked by Blue, he runs away to escape but can't shake him off. Inside the storage room, the alien parasite inside Blue comes close to infecting Noah's body. But Noah reaches for the moxicel and throws the liquid at Blue's face, which successfully melts down his entire body along with the alien parasite. At the same time, Clay, Chambers, and Teak prepare for the impending attack of another group of infected crew members. They shoot them as soon as the door of the security bay breaks down. Clay and Chambers manage to escape the security bay while Teak is killed in the process. Noah runs toward Admiral Adams to tell him about his discovery, but he finds the Admiral surrounded by the infected members. The Admiral gives Noah his blessing to be with his daughter Haley before he sets off the grenade and sacrifices himself. The explosion manages to blow the infected bodies apart, but soon the body parts come together and transform into a bigger and stronger alien monster. Noah, Clay, and Chambers run to the arsenal after Noah tells them that the infected bodies can be killed with the use of moxicel. The three then modify their weapons using the moxicel contained in the moonshine. In the middle of their preparation, the Herc's estimated time of arrival to New Earth starts to decrease rapidly as the remaining infected bodies overheat the reactor. Suddenly, Chambers realizes that the alien parasite has been controlling them. As it turns out, the alien parasite has been targeting the Herc's reactor all along. The alien parasite intentionally attacked them because it knew that the crew would find some way to wake up the Admiral who has complete access to the reactor. It is planning to arrive on the new Earth sooner to eliminate the last 50 million of the human race while killing everyone in the Herc as well. The three proceed to shoot Moxicel to kill off the infected passengers and stop the reactor from overheating. When they are overwhelmed by the number of infected passengers, Clay instructs Noah to get Haley and head to the escape pod. Then Noah, Haley, Clay, and Chambers run towards the escape pod but the strong alien monster emerges behind them. It snarls, killing Chambers on its very first attack and knocks Clay unconscious right after. 
Noah and Haley arrive at the escape pod, but Noah needs to initiate the escape pod's launch. He reaches for the launch pad while Haley waits inside the escape pod. Just then, the alien monster finds them. Noah fights off the monster using his upgraded weapon and manages to defeat it. He activates the escape pod using the launch pad and joins Haley inside. Shortly after, the couple receives a message from Clay, who is in the Herc's control room. Noah asks Clay to join them in the escape pod, but Clay declines. As the escape pod takes off, Clay bids farewell to Noah and sets the Herc to self-destruct, hoping to prevent the infection from reaching the new Earth. Later, Noah and Haley safely land on the new Earth. They make their way out of the escape pod and look around the surroundings, which seems identical to the planet Earth. To their surprise, the couple encounters a little kid who is apparently infected by the same alien parasite. Moreover, they spot a huge alien monster attacking a city from a distance with jet planes firing at it. In the end, Haley's water breaks just as the infected kid runs off to attack them. When Haley asks Noah what to do, Noah raises his Moxicel weapon and replies that they will burn them all. 